Welcome to the She Rise Podcast. I'm your host, Jaya Rose, a spiritual lifestyle and business mentor, and I am here to help ambitious, highly sensitive women just like you and me embody unshakable confidence in your gifts and create a scalable business that nourishes you and gives you the freedom lifestyle your soul craves. Ready? Let's get started. Hello, and welcome back to the She Rise podcast. We are doing our second episode of the Conscious Business Model series, and I'm super excited because this one is expression. It's all about expressing yourself, your story, and showing up visibility. <laughs> so I don't know if you know this about me, but only a couple years ago, let's see, it's been about a little over two years ago, I had a business teaching visibility online. I taught specifically messaging and storytelling and how to show up on live video and attract soulmate clients and sell your beautiful offers doing so. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it until I didn't, and I realized that I needed to go deeper. Um, I had built my business sort of using other people's methodology and in a way that was not sustainable for me. Being a highly sensitive woman, I need a lot of downtime. I need a lot of introspective time and also just time to take care of myself physically and to stay really healthy. Now I didn't build I did not build my business that way and I started feeling really burnt out and yucky. And so it's interesting because I associated this whole visibility business which I grew to multiple six figures in only 10 months. That's crazy. It it's so needed, right? So maybe you're like, yeah, I know. Uh, Jaya, my sticking point in my business is visibility. Well, I totally understand. And it was really easy for me to sell my programs and things because it's such a, you know, it's a thing people need help with. And I'm really excited because this year I'm actually bringing it back. And this is the second quarter, expression is the second quarter of She Rise School. And it feels really good to bring it back, but you'll notice that it is after the first phase, which was embodiment. So if you haven't listened to the embodiment part of this series, then go back and do that. It's the episode right before this because, you know, I can't do this work. I can't tell you how to be more visible and how to share your story and be vulnerable and show up in your gifts if you haven't claimed your gifts and understand that those are the most important things to honor. The parts of you that show up for other people, that's the part of you that needs to be honored so, so deeply. So I just want to say that because maybe it's just for me, you know, I feel like I'm like uh, going on, what is it? Like, it's not treading water. It's like on thin ice or something where I just want to make sure that I'm really clear about my intention and the way that I'm teaching expression and visibility now versus how I did it before. Excuse me, I need a little drink of water. You know, one of the things I want to talk to you about today and expression is understanding your story. Because your story really is the foundation of your personal brand. And this is taught a lot of different ways. But one thing I want to just offer you right now is the idea that your story is what will connect with people the most. That doesn't just mean that it's on your website or that you just tell it sometimes, but I really believe that people want stories more than anything now. And, you know, I took a course a couple years ago about business building and they taught this methodology around doing um, all different styles of visibility. Like you're the teacher and you're the expert and you're the friend and then you're the inspirer and you're the storyteller. And I do like that idea, but something that I've seen to be true is that you could really just connect with people in real time and attract your soulmate clients. So there's this fine line between positioning yourself as an expert and also just being really who you are in real time. Now, 
some of this is just taste, you know, like what your preference is. Maybe you want to have a brand where you are only in that role. You're just that part of you and you don't want to share more than that. And that might work for you. But if you're somebody who craves intimacy and connection inside your work, it is important to recognize that people are craving that from you. And so you, you're going to need to open up more than you think. And a lot of times when I see people having these visibility blocks, like if you're like, oh, I don't want to go on live video or I do go on live video, but I don't seem, it doesn't seem like I'm really connecting with people. I guarantee you it's because people don't know your story and they want to know your story more than anything. And that's why for a whole quarter of She Rise School, the first half of it is just storytelling and learning how to storytell and story sell. Because we are in the expression phase we're talking about right now, but next week we're moving into the creation phase. And that's all about creating your sacred signature offer. And when you are able to show up powerfully in your story and in your core message, then you lead naturally into these sales. So story selling is different than just selling. It's about creating that connection with people. So I want to offer you a couple tips around this because there may be, you know, for you, if you're identifying, hey, I want to make more sales or I'm connecting with people online, but it just doesn't feel deep and it doesn't feel like a, they're really getting me or they're just taking my free content. It's probably because you haven't identified your real true core message in alignment with your soul story. And soul story is something I teach and I'd like to just offer you some, just some insight on it because you could use it now. It's just your soul story is the thing that you really came here to teach. It's in alignment with your purpose. And what it is, is it's most likely a point in time in your life where something happened that became a big story for you. And it also created how you were going to tell every story. So usually for most people, something happens and then we tend to see life in that way. So for example, if you had a single mother and you were on food stamps, there would be a part of you that would be seeing yourself as having a single mother and being on food stamps until you realize that that identity is not who you are and you want to tell a different story. So there are going to be elements of your soul thread that have to do probably with lack, um, maybe with abandonment, depending on you know what happened to your father. Um, and listen, I'm sort of using my own example here. <laughs> um, you know, it's about healing these things because when you can speak to them, then you can really speak to people and their core wounds. And I know that sounds weird, but everybody talks about pain points in the marketing world. But the truth is, is that these are wounds that we have and as we heal them, they become medicine. And they become medicine not only for us, but they become medicine for people who need us. And that is what your soul story is about. It's about identifying the thread that has ran through your life and has become now your purpose because you have done the healing. Now you have a potent medicine to deliver to other people. Isn't it beautiful? Now, it's not it's not just nothing though, right? That's why I say I always teach my embodiment work, personal power and owning your magic first because then there's legs to stand on when we go into doing this type of work because this type of work, you have to really ha have a lot of self-knowledge and have done a lot of healing. But I can tell you that in terms of visibility, it's way, way easier to sell your programs and your services when you have a deeper connection with your audience. It's so simple. We talk about know, like, and trust. And this knowing, right? It's not just, I know who you are. Oh, I know who Jaya is. Sure, I heard of her. That's awesome. But in this day and age where things are so oversaturated, it needs to be deeper than that. I want you to listen to this podcast and feel like you know me. Like, you know me. 
maybe you feel like, you know, we're friends because of the way that I connect with you. That's what I want. That is knowing. And then liking, you know, I would change it to love because in this, you know, we, as humans, we naturally have this place where we come back to all the time, which is love. And it's more than just like, I mean, I want you to like me, but I want there to be a love there because that's how I feel with my clients. I love my clients. I tell my clients I love them after like one call. And so this is another thing to think about. What does it take for you to love somebody? What does it take for somebody to love you? And it certainly takes them knowing you, knowing you deeply. And then the trust comes after that. It's like, do you trust me? Are you, have you had enough experience with me? And have you seen that, you know, I'm consistent, whatever it is that your core values are in terms of being able to trust somebody, you're doing that with other people as well. And it's so important and it just gets glossed over. Like we think if we're ticking the boxes and I did the video and I showed up and I made the offer and I made the call to action, that that's enough. And it's really not anymore. That's very masculine and it's very surface and people are not interested in that anymore. People want something deeper. So the expression phase of the conscious business model is about you doing your deep work and expressing yourself so that you can create that knowing, that loving, and that trusting that when you go into the creation phase then you're ready to go because you have people who you have actually created relationships with. Because the no love trust builds relationships. And when you have relationships with people, they're going to go to bat for you. They're going to refer you. They're going to share your work. They're going to talk about you and they're going to buy from you. And this is so huge. Um, the thing about this is that you know, the visibility blocks are actually quite easy to get through when you recognize that the medicine you have within you is so potent and powerful and that if you don't share it, somebody is not going to heal. Somebody is not going to heal if you don't share your medicine. And that's what I have to tell myself. I tell myself that to show up for this podcast. I tell myself that to offer my services and my program. I have to give myself a pep talk and you do too. So what pep talk are you giving yourself? What story are you telling yourself around you showing up? And if this part feels really challenging to you, it's always about going back to the owning your power, to the self-love, to your practices, to um, owning your magic. And it's so cool. I just love this business model because it's never just you're lost at sea. You're not just, oh, I'm not doing visibility or I'm not getting results from it. So now I have to stay here forever. No, because maybe you just need to go back and strengthen a part of yourself and then come back to this and it will be completely different. I see so many people just creating stories around, well, I can't do video or I'm not consistent. Well, maybe you're not consistent because you don't actually understand the medicine that's within you. And that is all about your personal power and owning your magic. So I love that this is really truly a roadmap for you to consistently get out of your own way and show up because you show up for yourself first and then you show up for your medicine and for your dreams and your vision. And from that place, creation becomes much easier and it becomes easier to be consistent and to do the work you're meant to do in the world and to move it out really powerfully. And that's really what expression is about, is about moving your work out into the world powerfully, creating the relationships with people who need you, and then having a platform for you to offer your work and to bring money in and to help people. It's so simple. I really don't have a lot more to say about this, except I want you to identify in yourself what your stories are that are valuable and what relates to your core message.
I want you to start to really reflect on your soul thread and how you can weave that in and showing up, you know, even if it's not perfect and recognizing that whoever's business model looks perfect, if that's not your real desire and not really how you like to connect with people, then um, you don't need it. It's garbage to you. So maybe there's some pieces of letting go that you could work on too. What do you need to let go of in order to really embrace a new way of being that honors you more and honors your story? So if this all resonates with you and you want to learn more about how you can do this work with me, then you can message me. And actually, I'll just put the She Rise School um, website below. It's just SheRiseSchool.com. So easy. Check it out because we are enrolling for the February round. And if you're liking this conscious business model, this is what it is. We teach the four phases of the conscious business model so that you can always have a roadmap for creating your greatest work in the world and putting it out. It meets you where you are every time. So if you're ready to put out a six-week course, your very first group program, you can create that with massive, massive integrity and then knowing that it's of your highest level and then know how to attract people into it so that you can then build and work towards your longer program if you have that desire to maybe lead people you know, in a year-long program which I will tell you is much more profitable and also easier to not have to launch all the time. So I teach this repeatable and scalable business model that meets you exactly where you are, whether you're just starting or whether you have had lots and lots of one-on-one clients and you've ran groups, but you're really ready to anchor in your truth, power, story, and ability to sell better, then this is for you. So just go to SheRiseSchool.com or click the link below and fill out the application to chat with me. I'm happy to get on a call with you to chat to see, you know, is this right for you? Is this the right time? And is the curriculum going to meet you where you are? And just know that I show up in this program. This is not a digital program. The content is home study because I love it that way so that you can do it when it works for you. And weekly we meet for coaching. You get coaching from me every single week and it is a game changer. So I want you to really think about what is this next level of your business look like and what would it feel like to have me in your corner and a group of other women who are ambitious and highly sensitive and doing this deep work too because they feel a call, because they feel a call to show up and share their gifts and create abundance and wealth so that they can continue to share their gifts. It's just so beautiful. So if you're interested in learning more, please reach out. Um, Make sure you're following the podcast on Instagram. You can go to thejayarose.com and find the She Rise podcast there or the other way around. I'm linked both ways. Send me a message there if you'd like to chat with me or just um, fill out the application and we can hop on a call. So I hope this met you exactly where you are. I would love to hear any takeaways you have. If you have anybody who you feel like this would benefit, please share it with them. This is such, you know, needed work and you're not wrong if you think of someone and people need it. So I would so appreciate you sharing and I just want to send you so much love right now and remind you that when you move, everything moves. I'll see you next time on the She Rise podcast.